Hi guys and welcome back to Green Scene South Coast. My name's Nikki and today's video is all about propagation of succulents. I have received many requests from you guys wondering how I propagate my succulents and today I'm going to show you how. In this video I'll be propagating a couple different succulents but I've had a lot of luck propagating this one before so we're going to work with this one and probably a couple more. This one here just got a little leggy and needed needed some more light so you can see it started to merge to the left side a little bit so I'm just gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do with that and how I propagate my succulent so what you want to do next is you want to gently hold on to your succulent plant with one hand and with the other hand you want to gently remove all of the lower leaves in a nice clean gentle way you don't want any breakage of the leaves because you have to discard of those leaves. Those leaves will not propagate. You need a nice clean break at the end in order to propagate those leaves. Once you have the bottom leaves, you want to put them on a shallow container lid like me or anything that could fit that description. And what I do is I, I fill it with some gravel and some cactus succulent soil and I just lay the leaves However, in any way, um, you can put them upside down or right side up. I've seen them work in both ways. Um, so they're pretty resilient as long as they're getting indirect sunlight um, and you're misting them every one to two days. But I'll go into more detail about succulent care afterwards. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut the succulent from the very bottom of the base and I'll go ahead and put the planter back where it originally was. Then with the top part and the cutting that I have in my hand, I'm going to go ahead and put in indirect light for five days until I see new roots start to form. This is the upside down container lid with all of the leaves inside. So this is a super bun echeveria, very pretty plant, but I just wanted to show you in a very clear way how to remove the leaf there's a bottom leaf here that I will be taking off and I wanted to show you how to correctly remove a leaf from the stem. Some succulents are easier to propagate than others. Um, this is what I think is a poor uh, pull of the leaf. It looks to be a little broken um, and I'm also messing up the leaves when I go to touch them because this Echeveria is just like that. Um, so some succulents are better to propagate than others. But I'll definitely let you guys know if the leaves on this did end up uh, rooting. So leaving these cuttings in indirect light for five days until I see some roots. When you start to see baby succulents and roots like this, you're going to want to put your succulents in their own pot with soil. Also, I just wanted to note you guys that these propagated themselves into the small little pot here, so it doesn't have to be in a shallow container. It can be in a little bit bigger of a container, and they will just root themselves into the pot. It doesn't take much. After you've taken those leaves and your cuttings, I'm going to just basically go over what you want to do next. So with your leaves, you want to find a dish that works. I gave you an example of what I used in the video, so you can use whatever you feel is necessary for you and see what works for you. Um, so after that, you want to get a spray bottle and you want to put some water in it. Uh, you're going to leave that tray in indirect light, four to six hours of indirect light, um, without getting any afternoon direct sun. You don't want to have that cook and it will die. Um, so you want to be in indirect sunlight um, for, like I said, four to six hours. Um, now with the spray bottle, you're going to wait two days or so. You'll notice some roots starting to spread. Um, after about two days, you're going to give it a nice mist with the spray bottle. And you're going to continue to do that until you get a baby succulent. Then once you get a baby succulent, you're going to want to plant it in a small pot. 
that's when you want to get something like a terracotta pot. This here is a terracotta pot. Anything with drainage or a drainage hole at the bottom will work nicely, um, but that's kind of what you want to get. Uh, so after that, then you're going to plant your baby succulent, obviously in a much smaller pot than that, with some cactus soil. You want to use really good quality cactus soil, cactus or succulent soil, I'm sorry, um, and you want to water them about once a week, lightly, until they fill the saucer just a little bit. If you have an accumulation of water in the saucer, you want to go ahead and remove that water from the dish. Um, that's about it. I would just check your succulents regularly. Any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. And uh, we look forward to future videos. Um, I'll be doing another garden tour of what we have planted and a few other really cool and exciting videos. Stay tuned, and if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And uh, like this video, share this video, and have a wonderful day. Happy planting, guys. Bye.